A few videos back, I asked what projects everyone wanted to see, and I got little to no input. But the creative director here at Old Guy Woodworks said she wanted a jewelry chest. So, goes without saying, that's what this project is all about. These are the drawers that I built in my drawer building video. I'm gonna use these to build that jewelry armoire chest about so high. I started with laying out the drawers and the mid rails. That way I could see how big the hidden compartment on the side was gonna be. I ripped them to width and put some dados in them so that it would take a back in it. Laid them out, then the front is gonna get that detail on it which I made at the router table by picking two passes an eighth of an inch apart. Cut rabbits for the joinery, joined them together, and then put the backs on them. Once I finished the side compartments, I made these frames, put them through my fancy sander. Put them in place, glued them and screwed them all the way to the top. Temporarily put the back on so it can hold everything in place and keep it square. Taped it off as I went to keep everything square. Made some spacer blocks that were the right dimension and used those to put the rest of the frames in all the way to the top. Once the case was done, I started on the bottom. I wrap my plywood with solid so that I can come back and use a router on it and get a nice profile. Glue it all together and clamp it. And yes, I use pocket screws. And these are going to be our legs that are 45 together. I make the first template and I put it on the router table and use a flush trim bit. Cutting 45 degree angles so that I can miter them together. And then I realized I made four of them in the wrong direction. This is the same miter full joinery that I use on cabinet ends from time to time and I just used them on these legs. Set those aside and give them time to dry. And when they were dry, I was routing them over on the router table. I would do a climb cut right at the end so I don't get any splintering or chip out of the end. glue and screw the legs to the bottom and then put a little back or support block in there for a little more strength. I round over all the faces of the drawers and then all the insides and the outside.
dovetails were overkill for these drawers since they're gonna get painted, so I just filled all the voids and I routed over the inside of the frame. This will give us matching profiles with the drawers. I made eighth inch wood strips as drawer guides and just to keep the drawer up off the bottom and maintain the reveals on the sides and the bottom as well. And just glued and tacked them into place. And sanded a little bevel in the front so that the glue could slide in easily. Final frame actually gets screwed to the very top drawer since that's going to be fixed and actually won't slide. Glued and tacked these little strips on the back so it would keep the drawers from going all the way through and maintain the right depth on the face of the cabinet. On the top I mitered my pieces so that I wouldn't have end grain and biscuit the joints together. No pocket holes here as this is going to be exposed. This is the lid to the top. Since this is going to be painted, I went ahead and fed it through the sander to get it nice and smooth. And put a profile on it. Side compartment doors were made out of plywood, so they had to be banded for a good finish. So I started the finish process, and that's a whole nother video. I did a weathered sand through finish. It's a three coat process and when you put your finished coat on there, you just simply sand it through and the highlights of the colors underneath come through. Some drawers wanted to be a little difficult, so it took a little precision sanding on the bottoms of the drawers, the sides of the drawer, a little paraffin wax and they slid on. To make the door perfectly recessed, I had to route in the strike plate so that it would set back just enough to be flush with the outside.
final step was to put the knobs on that the creator projector had selected. You know how they say it's bad luck to give a wallet without money in it? Well, I don't know if it's bad luck to give a jewelry box without jewelry in it. So I'm not taking a chance. I'm going to put some jewelry in this. Whenever I get done with the project, I always think, you know, I would do that different next time. But usually everything I make is just like a one-off piece of furniture. So there probably isn't going to be a next time. But if there was a next time, I would build this frame first and then fit the drawers to it rather than the other way around. So you can see we have our little hidden side compartments with stuff in there. Flip up top with the mirror and plenty of drawers for storage. So we hope you appreciate this project. If you want to see how I did the finish, there's a link somewhere that's going to show you how we actually did the whole finishing process. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that uh, you won't miss anything. Well, since I've got grandchild number seven on the way, I think our next project is gonna be a crib. Wow, it's like it was made to fit in that spot.